Echo and Alpha, I read you loud and clear now. Alpha and Alpha, this is Oscar Rocket 4 and Terra, also called the session. I read you loud and clear. How do you read me? I copy you loud and clear. How do you copy? Nine Alpha One Alpha, I read you loud and clear. Let's start and welcome aboard the session. Absolutely, let's start, over. Hello, Ivan. It takes uh, uh, six hours to get to the station, and we use the uh, uh, Soyuz spacecraft, which is a Russian. Uh, uh, a Russian little spacecraft. It takes nine minutes to get to orbit, and then four orbits, uh, each orbit for one hour and a half to get to the station. Hello, Mattia. Uh, the training to come to the space station lasts about two and a half years. And as all things that are worth doing, sometimes there are challenges, but uh, let me tell you, it was one of the most fun times I've ever had in my life. Over. Okay, I didn't copy that. Ask again. Nine Alpha, one Alpha. Ask again the last question. Hello, uh, the, the mission lasts about six months, and in my case it's 167 days. Over. Well, the, the ISS is mostly automatic, and so it, it's not very really difficult, especially because we have a lot of help from the ground. Our job is mostly to do experiments and to to do maintenance, and those things can be challenging, and challenging in time, over. Let's hear the antenna again. Hello, Ivan, we get all of our electricity from the sun. We have this huge, huge uh, solar array that uh, uh, changes the energy of the sun into electricity, and we can, we can power everything on the session. And for the water, we get uh, we get supplies from the Earth through spacecraft, but we also recycle our own water. So, ausgeschaltet war das hier näher. Hello. Yes, we we do have our own beds, but so they're not really beds. They're, they're more like sleeping bags, and we kind of float inside the sleeping bag, and it, the sleeping bag is attached to a wall so that we don't uh, lose ourselves while we're sleeping. Over. Hello, Yura. Uh, you can't have a diet plan because sometimes a, a specific diet, a very specific diet, is part of an experiment uh, that we do. And uh, but when we are not on a specific diet, we eat everything that's available on the station, which is uh, uh, basically the same thing that you would eat on the ground. Only they are either already pre-cooked or dehydrated. Then we add water. Over. Hello, Martin. Uh, very good question. So, uh, first of all, on the space station, you don't get dirty as much as you get on the ground because the air is very clean. We everything is filtered continuously. Uh, but to to get clean when we sweat because we do a lot of sports, we just uh, get some wet towels and then we we pass it over our body with soap and then we uh, we dry out and then we are clean. It feels just uh, like a shower. Over. Well, I've been on the station so far for about a month and I'm doing great, so I, I hope that I keep doing great. Uh, thanks also to all the sports that we do on the station. Over. Hello, Michaela. It takes about one and a half hour to orbit the Earth, about 88 minutes 
Uh, it, it really changes with the altitude, but right now it's about one hour and a half. Hello, Marco. So what we do with the, with the garbage, uh, with the space garbage, is that uh, it's really rare that, that, it really, that it really threatens the space. But as soon as we think that it's a problem, we change orbit so that we, we are completely clear of the, of, the, of the space garbage. Over. So I actually uh, talk to my wife almost every day through, uh, through the internet. Uh, we have a thing called IP phone where I can call her on the phone. It's only one way, so I can call her, but I cannot get phone calls. And then once a week, we can also uh, do a, a two-way communication uh, with, with, uh, with camera so that we see each other. Over. Very good question. So hopefully we never get sick because unless you have a doctor on the station, we have to take care of each other. For example, I am the crew, the crew medical officer during my increment. So what we do, we have a bunch of medicines that, that we uh, that they're off the counter so that we can get freely, like for headaches and stuff like that. Otherwise, we have to call the ground and there is a doctor that can help us uh, give more support. Over. Okay, sorry, I didn't understand that question. Oh, uh, we don't really have a procedure for solar storm because we are protected by the magnetosphere of the Earth. Over. Excellent question, Antonio. It's very simple. We go outside and we fix things. So. In the two weeks, I'm going to go out with my spacesuit to do some, some maintenance on the outside of the station. We're wearing a special suit uh, for outer space. Over. Okay, um, I think you asked me what's my favorite free time activity. So, uh, the, my favorite activity is to look out the window and look at the Earth. Over. I'll tell you, uh, right now I don't really miss much uh, except for my little daughters. Over. Everything else is great. Over. Hello, Christian. Uh, the most beautiful things that I see while I'm in space, that's a very hard question to answer because there are so many beautiful things down on the Earth. I, I really like watching the ocean and, and the clouds. They love to be one of the first humans to go to Mars, as long as I have a, a two-way ticket to come back to Earth. Over. Okay, that, uh, that would be a bit... ...the same way as we would be garbage, so we, we would change in the orbit of our engine. Over. No, Robert, so we actually use the same spacecraft that we came up with. So what we do is we, we go inside, we, we turn the engine on, and we slow down now so that we start to get the inside of the rover. 